Hey Normies, it's your favorite monster, Annelie Monster here and welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be a Monster High flea market hunt and the footage for that I filmed yesterday which is why my appearance might look a bit different. So please don't be confused by that. Yesterday I was very excited about what to expect at the flea market and I was obviously hoping to find Monster High dolls. So I set off with my twin sister at Perfect Dolls Life and my mother. But let's stop talking and show you guys the footage I've recorded. Here you can see me and my sister walking to the hall where the flea market took place. And this is how it looked like when we got there. Reminding y'all it was 8am. So still very early. And here you can see me welcoming you all and talking to you about today's mission. I was so excited and full of anticipation. Who would have ever thought that it would be so disappointing? As soon as we walked inside we were greeted by a Barbie dollhouse. But due to lack of space we didn't pick it up. There were also some LOL dolls but we don't collect them. We searched and searched, hoping to find at least one Monster High doll. But everything we could find were other dolls, which is why our hope faded slowly. And there were a lot of toys, but not really stuff we were interested in. It was really disappointing to me, because it was my first flea market in months. And I had imagined the selection to be a bit different. I was hoping to find at least one Monster High thing, but plan failed. There was absolutely nothing. I didn't find any Monster High item, not even one. At this point, it was just upsetting. After a while, we came across a box full of dolls and we were hoping to find Monster High dolls in it, so we searched it for. But we quickly realized that our search was in vain. And at this point, my hope was almost gone. Then we found another box and we immediately went through it. But as you can see, there were only Barbie dolls and Disney dolls. So again, a disappointment. Even though we collect Barbie, the dolls at the flea market were very cheap and nothing we were looking for. Then we ran into a table selling movies and we even ended up buying one. It was the Barbie Spy Squad movie from 2016. So that was basically everything I recorded in regards to the flea market visit. We couldn't find anything Monster High related, which is why we were very frustrated. And by very frustrated, I mean very frustrated. So we tried finding Monster High dolls nearby via the German eBay that we could possibly pick up. And indeed, we found a seller. So we set off to pick them up privately. And I also recorded how that went. Here you can see me greeting you guys again. And even though I wear a different nail polish color and a jacket, it was still the same day, only a little later. Here we waited for the seller to open the door for us. And after waiting for a while, it was finally time to pick the dolls up. And here are the ones I've chosen. Here are the Monster High dolls. I've put the mice in aside because this channel is only about Monster High. Here's a better look at the Claudine and this one is from the Dead Tired Wave 2 series. I'm very happy that every doll has their limbs because then I don't have to search for them. I will probably put this Claudine in a fashion pack outfit and for each doll I paid 3 euros. Not too bad of a price I think. Then I also got this Picture Day Draculaura and she kind of stood out to me because her face is printed very well. To me it seems like it's very even and not too wonky. What do you think? Let me get mine real quick. Now we can make a better comparison. I personally think that the new doll has a charming face. Maybe I'll swap them out. Okay, let me show you the last doll I chose. It was this school spirit Venus doll. I couldn't pass on her. And I already have some ideas for what I want to do with her. I really want to make my first ever custom doll. But not in the sense of taking off her makeup and repainting her, but make custom clothing for her. I will probably make a TikTok video about it when the time comes. So make sure to also follow me on my TikTok account. I hope it will turn out good. By the way, my other social medias are listed in the description down below. 
Here's a small message to the collectors out there. So you might know that our ghoul Venus is very devoted to saving the environment, which is why she's very dedicated to waste separation and recycling. So my message to you is, think about buying secondhand too. Go to your local flea markets and start hunting for your dolls there too. You won't always be lucky, but that's also what can be charming in a sense. As Venus once said, don't be a loser, be a reuser. Okay, you have reached the end of the video. Please let me know in the comments if you're interested in seeing such video format in the future again. And make sure to follow my twin sister as well because she was my companion throughout the day. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, it's for free. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my other socials which are listed in the description down below. And a thank you goes out to you guys because we're almost at 200 subscribers here on YouTube. Until next time you guys.